Hi. Well, my computer problems are solved and uh, I'm back on track with the uh, Astro updates. Um, for the next couple of weeks, we actually have some very positive aspects with uh, Jupiter, the planet that brings benefit in Gemini, making for the next two weeks really a positive aspect to Mars in Libra. Um, this, we just finished, Jupiter has been, just went into Gemini at the beginning of June. And for June through till, for, for a lot of June then, there can have been this like crazy energy that might have been good, but can also have been kind of overwhelming, a little bit much to deal with. Uh, even if it was good, it can, it, it's hard to say whether it would have been good or not, but it could have been very difficult to feel uh, that you could manage it. Now that should have, uh, that should have eased out a little bit and we should be feeling a little bit more um, like, you know, we can handle what's happening. And there, as I said, there's actually a very, po there's some very positive energy. Now, astrologically positive energy usually doesn't have quite as strong an effect on us as negative energy does. Negative energy or challenging energy demands that you do something. It demands that you rise to a challenge or that you deal with an uncomfortable or demanding situation. Uh, but positive energy astrologically means it can mean that there's benefits it can mean that things feel a little bit nicer and uh, it can also mean that opportunities come your way but that you have to take advantage of those opportunities this particular positive energy uh, should bring you know a, pl a pleasant sense of social of sociability social encounters uh, there and especially in the area of partnership um, the possibility of ease uh, comes into the picture. Now Mars is also making a difficult, difficult aspect to Pluto, so there can still be the kind of power plays that lead to resentment or issues in partnership. But with the positive aspects to Jupiter, there is the opportunity to let that go and to allow for what is positive, to take center stage and direct the flow. That's really the key for everyone with everything right now. There's also half of the planets are in retrograde, which means it's not really, really the time to bring things to fruition. Uh, it's more of a time to let what is positive direct the flow and to give up the notion of fruition as you take in what is. This is actually really a powerful spiritual teaching as well, to let go of the notion of um, advancement and uh, and getting ahead and getting it, finally getting it, getting it right, and just and to be with what is, to stop thinking that somehow things are going to be better at some point in the future and that you're going to work really hard to make it better in the future, and more to, um, to allow yourself to experience what is. You may find yourself surprised by what is and may find your, that there are uh, opportunities or advantages and in particular ways that you can easily let go that you might not have imagined possible. Which leads to one other possible summation for the, uh, for the next few weeks. One of my favorite sayings, look to the surface for the deeper meaning. Uh, with, the, with air signs, uh, with the predominance of, of positive ener planets and energy signatures in uh, air signs, maybe you don't have to look quite so deep just for the next couple weeks. See what there is, take advantage of it, and then let it go. Let go of resentments, let go of things, let go of whatever you can, and uh, let what's positive direct the flow. Have a good few weeks, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.